Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy, and are you tired of your mushy BMW manual shifter? There's an easy way to fix it. Let me show you how. All right, y'all, you know I love my manual transmission cars, and even though the automatics and the BMWs are great, cars like the M2C really need to be a manual, and it makes all the difference. Now, one of the few places that the six-speed manual transmission can get a little bit of criticism is actually in stick feel as you go through the gates. It's a little mushy. But there's an easy, quick and easy fix that you can do. It's this polyurethane bushing from Turner Motorsports. Now, the end of your shifter arm underneath the car is, is this really soft rubber bushing, and this will change that entirely. The install itself is not all that hard, and I'm gonna walk you through the process. You don't have to drop your transmission or do something more expensive or invasive like a short shift kit or something similar. So I'm gonna walk you through this whole process. Now, really quickly, now my car's already in the air, and I'm always going to do this whenever you put your car up. You can do this work with a jack and jack stands, but please use jack stands. Do not bet your life on a 50 cent part in a jack that could fail, honestly, at any minute. So I've had that happen. I've had a jack fail on me and my car, bang, hits the ground. And if you're underneath it, that is a really, really bad mistake. So I'm using my quick jacks. Make sure to check out my video on that if you don't know what they are. But if you are using a jack and jack stands, absolutely use jack stands 100% of the time. Okay, so car's up in the air. We're gonna slide underneath. We're gonna remove a couple of body panels and then we're gonna get this installed. All right, so here we are under, underneath the car and I'm looking towards the front of the car. That's the motor end. Obviously, here's my mid pipe. So the piece you're looking for is directly behind the central heat shield right here. So usually where the bend in your mid pipe is, and if you've got the OEM pipe, it'll look a little bit different, but you can see the mid body hanger right there in gray. So the motor side, mid body hanger there in gray, the bend of your mid pipe, and it's behind this heat shield right here. So there's a number of things that we're gonna have to do. So you've got all these black, black paneling underneath that have these 10 millimeter plastic nuts here, here. There's a metal nut up there. There's a metal nut here. There's a plastic nut here. So all of these things are securing down this heat shield. And there's really one of two ways to do this. So you've got to take all of these out to loosen this heat shield because the pipe, what we're trying to get to is right above this, above your drive shaft itself, okay? So go ahead and take, you know, the, the plastic nut, the plastic nut, the metal one, and take this metal one and the plastic one and the plastic one and take all these off to start to loosen this heat shield. There's also one singular 13 millimeter bolt right here as well that you're gonna to need to take out that holds down the heat shield, okay? So go ahead and take all those out. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, you know, one of two different ways of, of maneuvering around this heat shield. So if you can fit it out and slide it out, that's great because then it'll be out of the way and then we'll just slide it back in. If that doesn't work, the alternative is actually to slide the whole thing down and just enough to get enough space above this to get to that bushing. Now to do that, we're gonna have to loosen up our brace here across the, the middle body brace to slide it down further to slide it past these posts. But go ahead and take the plastic nuts and those metal nuts off first on the one 13 millimeter bolt and then we'll see about maneuvering the heat shield around. Okay, so once you have those 10 millimeter plastic nuts out, the 13 millimeter nut, I've gone ahead and removed my mid body brace, which in my case is a six millimeter Allen, and I've taken the whole brace off. That's allowed me to uh, pull down the edges of the heat shield and slide it down, uh, and basically as far as it'll go until it hits the mid pipe giving us just enough gap to get up here. And you can see lit perfectly right there is the E10. And there's another E10 bolt on the other side as well, keeping that bushing into place. You can see the end of the shifter arm right there where it goes into the bushing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a wobble because you've got to get around that angle a little bit. So take a short extension, your wrench and a wobble and go ahead and take that 10 millimeter, or excuse me, that E10 reverse torques out on both sides and then just push the bushing off towards that end. Okay, then we'll slide the new one on. Okay guys, so quick catch up. You can see the bushing's off, it's loose. It's loose on both sides. So you're just gonna take it and just push it off the other end, just like 
there it comes. All right, so I'm gonna fish it out there. Now, really quick caution, the edge of your heat shield here can be very, very sharp. There's parts of this that are dull and parts of this that are just razor sharp. So you might wanna wear gloves when you do this or be very careful of this edge, right? So you don't, so you don't cut yourself, all right? So let me, uh, let me fish that bushing out and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here we are back underneath the car. Let me lift this up so hopefully you can see the end of the, of the shifter uh, right there. And so all you're gonna do is just slide it back into place. Now it's gonna be difficult to film and do this at the same time. So I'm going to reinstall the new bushing uh, and then show you what it looks like when it's done. But it should be really straightforward. Just slide it back into place with that little bit of high temperature grease, line it up with the bolts, and then we'll, and then we'll put the, the securing bolts back in. All right, so as you can see, the bushing is in. Got both bolts in on both sides. When you reinsert the bushing, make sure to have a big healthy dose of that high, of high temperature grease on it, which will be linked in the description of what I used. Just slide it up into place and make sure that the holes in the new bushing align with the frame itself, and then just snug both of those uh, reverse Torx bolts back down. Also, in addition, the uh, beveled edge, there's a flat side and a beveled side of the bushing. The bevel side obviously goes towards the motor. It's on the uh, arm side, where the flat side is the back, okay? So you can see that's all nice in place. It's all snug down and tight, all good to go. All right, y'all, so one quick last look up here. So everything is all back together. All the nuts are on, heat shield's in place, the, the crossbody brace is in place and tightened down. Everything's good to go. Make sure that all your clearances with your heat shield are good. You don't want it touching your mid pipe at all or you'll get a bit of a metallic buzz, but uh, you shouldn't. So all right, so all done, go ahead and wrap up. All right, y'all, as you can see, this really is a simple project. It only takes a couple of tools, a couple of sockets, and you're good to go. Hey, huge shout out to Tommy L. Garage. If you, if you haven't subscribed to him on YouTube, he's a fantastic guy. He has a great channel and great content. And he was the one who actually turned me on to this upgrade. And I got a chance to check out his manual transmission in his M3 at the Keys Motorsports Auto Show this summer. And I knew I had to do it. So great job, Tommy. Well done. Thank you so much for the heads up on this. Make sure to check it out. Everything that you need will be listed in the description below. Please click subscribe and the little alarm bell. It makes a huge difference to my channel and I have a ton of content coming and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.